So now I have my parabola. So I know it's going to be a parabola because it has the squared in it. y equals my x squared plus 2 times my x minus 3. Now I'm just going to plug in numbers. If I plug in negative 4, negative 4. Negative 4 squared is a positive 16 because it's negative 4 times negative 4. Then I go 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 minus 3. 16 minus 11 is 5. That's where the 5 came from. So you go over your x is negative 4, up 5, put a dot. Do that for all the values. So if this is a negative 3, and this is a negative 3, that's why using a pencil is better. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. Minus 6, minus 3. 9 minus 9 is 0. That's where the 0 came from. I did it for all these x's and got all these y's. Plot all the points, and you have your parabola. Find the slope and the y-intercept. My slope is 2 thirds. 2 thirds. My y-intercept is at 0, negative 4. That's a negative 4 if you can't read that through the circle here. So that means my y-intercept gives me a 0, negative 4 dot. My slope is go up 2 over 3 because it's rise over run. Rise is up 2, runs over 3. Up 2 over 3. Up 2 over 3. Or a negative divided by a negative is also a positive. So you can go down 2, negative direction, negative direction, still is a positive slope. Negative, negative. Draw your line. This one, I gave you the line. You can see their y-intercepts at 2, 0, 2, so there's that 2. And it rises 3, runs over 2. Just go from one point to the next. I could go from these two points, or I could even go to those two points. I just have to reduce it. So it goes up 3, over 2. It's positive since it's going uphill. From left to right, it's positive, so it's a positive 3 halves x. And there's my equation.